I gotta show you this thing called the more tag in WordPress. And essentially what it is, is when you add it to your post, it'll provide or display a little link that'll say, you know, click here to continue reading or read more or something like that, right? So you might know what I'm talking about. I think what I'll do is I'll show you a quick example of exactly what I'm referring to. Over on gomediazine.com, they use this all the time where you'll have a post here and it'll give you the title and then maybe just a little bit of that sort of a teaser there, maybe an excerpt or maybe, you know, the first couple of paragraphs. And then it'll say continue reading. So if you want to keep reading, you've got to click on this continue reading link, right? So that's really what the more link is. And if I click on that, of course, what it does is it throws me into the full enchilada, the full post here. And you know, I really like the idea of a more link because imagine if Go Media here had this full post on their opening page. So I go to gomediazine.com and I see all of this content and I've got to scroll like two miles before I get to the next post. And then I've got to scroll another two miles to get to the next post, right? Anyway, so what I like about this more link is it keeps everything kind of nice and tidy and clean. If I'm not interested in this creativity and control post, I can go down to the next one. Adobe Font Finder, oh, maybe I'm interested in that. So in other words, you can kind of get an idea of what's happening on the blog here just by you know, doing a quick scroll through. So that's the idea here. And I want to show you how to do this inside our blog here, inside our sample post that we've created. So of course, what we'll need to do is we'll need to go and edit our post. So I'll fly down into posts there on the left hand side into what is flash. Of course, I'm editing this post here. Now, what you'll need to do is simply drop your cursor inside your post wherever you want that link to show up. So in other words, I'm going to drop my link. I'm going to drop my cursor just above the line here that reads, here's a few things you can do with flash. So in other words, after the first paragraph, we'd have that, you know, continue reading hyperlink, right? That's what I'm after anyway. Okay, so you can stick your cursor in there. You can hit enter if you want or not, it doesn't really matter. And then way up on your formatting bar, going across the top there, it's this fella right here, insert more tag. Go ahead and click on that fella. And what we get here is a horizontal line. I don't know if you can see that in there, but there's a, a horizontal line there with a little piece of text there, more. And if I click on it, I get this sort of bounding box showing up around the more tag. Okay, so I'm interested to see if this actually worked for us. Let's check it out. So I'm going to click on update here. So all I'm doing is updating the post that you and I just edited there. Head back to the live preview, the live blog here. Make sure you refresh. And now what I have is the first paragraph of the post followed by view full article. Now, if you really want to get into WordPress customization, by the way, you can change this text. It is possible. You can have that text read whatever you want. Continue reading or, you know, whatever you like. View the full post instead of article, whatever you like, right? Click on this guy. And boom, that drops me into the full on article, right? Now, it did something kind of interesting there. I don't know if you caught it or not. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to back up one screen here. So I'm back out on the front of my blog, the front page of the blog. I'm going to click on view full article. And what it does is it takes me to the full article, which is great but it scrolls me down to exactly where that more tag was. In other words, it's assuming that I've already read the first paragraph back on the opening page, right? It assumes I've already read through this, I'm interested, view full article, and then it drops you in there exactly where you had left off, which is awesome because I mean, how many times do you get in a couple of paragraphs, you click on the link to continue reading and it dumps you way back at the top, right? So kind of a cool thing. And as you can see, it's super easy to insert the more tag into your post. It's really easy stuff. You can throw them in wherever you want inside your post. And of course, if you want to get rid of the more tag, just select this guy just by, you know, single clicking on him. Hit delete on your keyboard. I'll back out of that extra space there. Update the post. Wait for WordPress to catch up to me here. 
and then back out to the live blog here and I'll head back to the home page and refresh and there's the full post now sitting out on the opening page. So once again, by default, you're gonna have the full post sitting on your page there. Again, you can use the more tag there to kind of shorten things up there a little bit. 